see if that makes a difference. Yeah. If not, we'll be ordering a new oven and it means takeout, me no cooking. Woohoo! Good morning, nearly afternoon, it's another day. Another day, another dollar. Uh, I finished work for the morning. It is now lunchtime. Matilda's done her schoolwork, so we're off out for another bike ride attempt, right, Mum? Yes, we are. It's going to be fun. Um, there's not really much else to do at the moment, as you know. So we figured, whilst it's sunny, as you can see, the sun is shining. The weather is sweet. The tank is clean. Um, we're going to go out and teach the girl to ride her bike some more. So let's do it. When we go this way with her. Woo! What's Matilda been doing? What are you doing, Tell? I'm doing a Durex. Mine. You made a den? Yeah, for me and Blake. That cool. is my side, that's Blake's side, but he really likes my side, so that's way he gets out. Cool. And over here, we have like a little outside area. Nice. You gonna sleep out here tonight then? Yeah. Okay. So, what have we got here? Oh, I got myself a brand new practice mini amp for practicing guitar. I haven't played in a long time and I needed um, something just to plug headphones in, so I got that cheap on Amazon. We'll see how it plays later on. Reviews seem to be okay, so um, yeah. Give it a go. See what happens. What else did we order? <laughs> we ordered clips so that little Blakey fingers can't get into everything. When they arrived, we actually didn't think it was the clips because how nice is this box that they've come in? Really nice, isn't it? Yeah. So we are currently clipping the house down. Oh, can't get in this drawer. Unless you press the little clip. Yeah. So we're going to go around the house, there's a couple of drawers in their bedroom that we need to do. We need to do, this is his favourite cupboard, so that's going to be, He's going to be very locked up. That. Yes, looking forward to it. We've already done his other favourite cupboard, which he now can't get into. That's the cleaning cupboard. We've made it more difficult for ourselves to get into We have, but I actually think it's got a really cool thing, so it's got like a, a little lock. So you can actually undo it and keep it off if you're doing something. Oh, it's brilliant. Blake's eating this morning. Matilda's watching Britain's Got Talent. And what is Jake doing? Oh, good morning. Morning. Um, you find me today <laughs> trying to fix the oven. 
Yeah. Um, this could either go one of two ways. I might get a new oven out of this, or we might have an oven that doesn't make a noise. Yeah, you might have noticed from our other vlogs that our oven does a lot of rattling. So we think it's one of the fans or the fan motors in the back. So I'm going to take the plate off and give the fan a clean and see if that does screw anything. Screw it back in and see if that makes a difference. Yeah. If not, we'll be ordering a new oven and it means take out me no cooking. Woohoo! This used to be Jake's mum and dad's cooker, so it's a, it's you quite old. Time. Yeah. So we'll see. You hear that? That's the rattling we were talking about. Really, really frustrating when you're cooking, when you've got people over, when you're vlogging, and this is going off. It's a pain in the ass. So. Um, I have ascertained that it is the cooling fan right at the top of the oven. We did take the back plate off. Let me show you if you can see. We did take the back plate off in there to look at that fan. That fan is working fine. As you can see, it's currently not moving. So that motor behind isn't doing anything. Therefore, the noise isn't coming from this oven. Um, the top oven also isn't actually turned on so the noise must be coming from somewhere and you can feel here from this line the hot air being blasted out that to me means that there's a cooling fan back there basically whisking all the hot air from the oven underneath and pushing it out here to cool the thing down um, I also know that it's the cooling fan because if I give it the old college bang it sometimes stops like it judders so it's definitely the cooling fan um, so I've got to wait for this thing to cool down completely um, and then take it out welcome to a quiet kitchen so my theory was absolutely right. Um, there is a cooling fan right at the back of the top of this oven. I watched the cooling fan stop and I watched the noise stop. So either the cooling fan needs a nice big clean and a degrease and all that stuff and it'll get working again or we need to buy a new one. I'd rather not have to buy a new one because they can be expensive anywhere between I can imagine 30 to, I think I saw one for about 80 pounds. That was an official one, but I don't know the makes of the other ones, whether, whether or not they're good. So I'm gonna try and take the oven out, give the fan a clean, give it a little once over, and hopefully that'll solve the problem. Welcome to the messy living room. Here you go, you might wanna pack some things up. What are you guys watching? Just in case. We are watching the next episode of the High School Musical new series. Are you good? Very good. Mm -hmm. Is it as good as the films? Yeah. Really? It's a big statement. Mummy? No. <laughs> no Flat no. No Vanessa Hutchinson in this. Mm -hmm. Or whatever his face is. Troy that good looking one. Zach Efron. Mm. Zach Efron, that's his name. Mm -hmm. What do you reckon, B? Do you like it? No. Yeah, so we're just chilling, Blake's in there, sleep, and you are causing absolute carnage in the kitchen. I don't even want to go. Come see what I've done. Look, the table's not there because it is in here. Luckily, the table is almost the exact same height as the oven, which needs a clean over there. Um, so now I can get on top of the oven and look at the cooling fan, which is up back yeah, somewhere. So, yeah. Wish me luck. Um, it is plugged in at the back here, but it's all turned off at the mains via the fuse box. Um, as you can see, the light at the back is not turned on, but the front even, so don't worry, safety first. I'm not going to electrocute myself. Wish me luck. Let's see if I can get me a, uh, get the fan out and clean it. And there's the culprit. So, I've done what I can with the motor 
doesn't look as if there's anything I can really do properly. I've given it a tiny bit of a clean and uh, unscrew, rescrew kind of update, but I think it's just going to be um, a new motor that we need. So I think the bearings have gone within the motor. So we'll see if we can get a nice, cheap, effective replacement. So Matilda has come in and says she's bored and I really don't want her on the laptop or the tablet because she turns into a zombie. And plus it's a nice day today and it's probably going to last a nice day for the next week or so. Mm. So. so I've given her a challenge to create a pond. In our back garden. What could go Not wrong? Cut out the grass, right? In no, the verge? In the verge. What could go wrong? <laughs> what could go wrong? Right. Here she is with her spade. So you have dug a hole. Yes. It's quite an impressive hole, actually. Right. Get your bowl then. That was embarrassing. Oh, look. Sorry, your home is going to be a bowl now. That looks really, really good. Right, so now we need to fill it with layers. So we need some wood, Rocks. brick, stone. Rocks, perfect. Rocks. You've got some showers you're going to put in there. Mm -hmm. Blake's got the spade now. You're going to dig up the lawn. Ta-ta. So how are we getting on? We're building it up. I'm not using this one because this is my great. Matilda's one. got her shells. Yeah, but I'm not going to add this one, but you can't see, but it's very shiny in the sun, so I don't... Yeah, it's very sparkly, that one. Yeah, so I'm not going to show What have you that. actually got in there, Till? We have got, as you can see, oh, some nice shells collection. and some stones. Just got to build it up so that they will be able to get in and out and not get stuck. Cool. Looks good. Mm -hmm. It does look good. Just need some wood now. So right now we're going to put in the water. Okay, sweetheart, you go for it. <laughs> Whoa. Get some more water. Yeah, come get some more. Is that good, Blake? Good, though. <laughs> yeah, you told us the little pond's gonna last all the two seconds. Blakey. No. Yeah, that's it. The rock that holds it together. <laughs> Ta. Ta. Leave them in there, mister. Uh -uh. That's it, good boy. Water. You got some more water? Yeah. Oh. Good job. Brilliant. Is that done? I think so. Yeah. Hope you have some frogs. He loves it. Hey. What hey. you doing? Whoa. You got all the water? Matilda's trying to find a fossil. Yeah, and I'm guaranteeing you it's in here. Okay. If you see this here, it's very, very locked up, so that's why I'm using a knife. Brilliant. I nearly got it. Knife safety over here. What's your thumb? What have you found, Blake? <gasps> a crab? Blake's doing the mixing. What are you doing, Dora? Trying to find the shade. Dora. What are you doing? Oh, I need to go Brilliant. Oh, here we go. Tormenting the dog now. She knows better. I'm here with 
Good evening everyone, it is Sunday evening and we are just settling down for a nice Sunday dinner. Yes, it is teapot Sunday and our new tradition, in the house. Our new tradition on a teapot Sunday is to have giant Yorkshire pudding. And here we go, Donna's done it again. She has made some ridiculously large Yorkshires. Um, they are filled with today with roast potatoes, carrots, green beans and sausages. Are they just regular pork sausages or anything fancy? They were fancy Tesco ones. Tesco's finest? Yeah. They're from the park, <laughs> Moving up in the world, Tesco's finest. And Blake is just finishing off watching Mr Tumble, reading his book. He's already been bathed, he is all nice and clean. A lovely clean smelling baby. And he's addicted to Mr. Tumble, aren't you, mate? Look at his curly hair, look. He's got the curliest hair. My hair was like that once upon a time. Poor boy hasn't got any hope, has he? 